back here at the NRA National Farms Museum with Phil Schreier. Phil, we're back here for another edition of the Curator's Corner. Curator's Corner has moved lock, stock, and barrel to Mondays at 5 p.m. now on NRA News Cam and Company on Sportsman Channel. And why do we do it, Phil? Because you and Jim Sapika were already there on Monday night, one of the biggest shows on Sportsman, NRA Guns and Gold. I'll tell you, Sportsman Channel, they love you guys. We we're, were at SHOT Show, and there was a picture of Phil and Jim. It was like, had to be 10 <laughs> feet tall. So welcome, neighbor. Thank I, you. I guess you should welcome us because we're your new neighbor. Uh, and, and last week, you were telling us about a first-generation Colt. And, and you have another first-generation Colt, but as so many firearms do, they tell a completely different story in history. So tell us about that firearm, if you That's would. Right, John, this is, a, uh, again, a, a first-generation single-action Colt revolver. This gun uh, is one of the, the guns that Chris Hearn has loaned us from his Hollywood gun collection. And uh, we're going to put this on exhibit in the William B. Ruger Gallery here at the museum as firearms from our current Hollywood guns exhibit will make the trek down to Springfield, Missouri to go in the flagship store of Bass Pro uh, for the new National Sporting Arms Museum that the NRA is establishing right there in Springfield, Missouri. Wow, that's awesome, but it's a problem. It's a flagship store. So much to see and do. You add a museum to it, Phil, people are never going to get out of there. You got to bring in cots to the place. <laughs> well, I think they're going to extend the hours uh, just so that you can get through that. Uh, the, uh, the new uh, exhibits here at the museum, we're going to bring new things into Fairfax, uh, such as this uh, single action. Did I tell you Bill Holden used this in the movie The Wild Bunch? Oh, what a great That's movie. where this comes from. Is oh. Sam Peckinpah's great epic western, The Wild Bunch. Uh, William Holden carries this gun in, in that film. And, and the great thing with the Hollywood guns, these, as we learned, these are the actual firearms. It's not a replica. It's not a reasonable facsimile. And all these great firearms are, it, it, it's so great to know that that's the firearm that was used in that movie. That's right. And the, uh, the, 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 the real deal, these are real uh, original uh, antique guns in many cases. Uh, well, this alone, uh, just like it is, a nice first generation, all matching numbers. Uh, probably five, six thousand dollars at a uh, at a regular gun show, and then add <laughs> add Stembridge rental paperwork that IDs this as Bill Holden's from the Wild Bunch. Uh, you you can multiply that by a number between you know five and ten, and you'd be in the front of the line bidding. Oh well, I, I'd like to, <laughs> I, I'd like to, but that's why we have friends like Chris Hearn who. Uh, who can generously loan these items to us for display here at the so museum. Great. So great, not only here at the museum, but Columbia, we, you know, out there in, in, in New Mexico. You guys, it's so great. You, and you guys travel all the time, too, going different places to, to bring exhibits to people who maybe can't get there. And these are national treasures. These are part of our history. And, it's, and you guys work, do such great work. And, and now on Sportsman Channel with, with Guns and Gold in the Curator's Corner, Hopefully, you know, we'll get to a whole new audience. That would be great. I mean, they call it outreach, and we have museums uh, uh, that we support all over the country, from McMinnville, Oregon, with the Evergreen Air and Space Collection that, that's on display there, uh, to uh, uh, Founders Ranch outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we put on an exhibit uh, during End of Trail, and now the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum and Springfield, Missouri will be bigger than the other two uh, combined wow. and uh, also hit a, probably a larger audience. And free parking too. Free parking, that's, that's key. <laughs> so how can people get more information about uh, the museum here and everything you're talking about? Well, John, you can obviously, uh, we encourage you to come and visit us in Fairfax, Virginia. We're open seven days a week from 9.30 to 5, every day of the year with the exception of Christmas. Uh, there's free parking, free admission. If you can't visit us off of the interstate, visit us on the internet at nramuseum.com where every single gun in the firearms displays here at the museum is online. High resolution photographs, you can get right in and see you know, just exactly who autographed that, that engraving panel on a lock plate. Awesome. Phil Schreier, thank you for another great edition of the Curator's Corner. Thank you, John. <laughs>